Well, I, I represent school leaders, nine and a half thousand of them, and they, yeah. by, by definition, tend to be control freaks. And our frustration is that there's too many things here we haven't got the knowledge about. And what we've been saying to the government, as have lots of organisations, is if we're going to reopen schools as we need to and want to, there are some things we need to be reassured about. And you've kind of hinted at those. Mm. Because if we're, if we're the people who are going to be able to implement the reintroduction of schooling, parents will look to leaders in particular in their local community and say, do you trust the evidence for that? So that's a, that's a long preamble, but to say that what was happening therefore on Friday is those of us who work in education had an opportunity n not to listen to the policymakers about education, but to hear directly from the chief scientific advisors, chief medical officers, and we had put our questions to them. And the questions, a bit like you just hinted at, is PPE necessary? Yes, What's the social course. distancing in schools look like? Now, different people have responded differently to that meeting. And I said to, to my members that what I'm going to do as someone who is not a scientist is to say, A, have we asked the right questions? B, did we get answers to those questions? And C, do I feel confident that what I'm being told would reassure me if I was a head teacher again like I was for 15 years? And to all three of those answers, my response was yes. And I've discussed it with my president and vice president and immediate past president. And in essence, behind the scenes, school leaders have been doing the contingency planning in any case. And what we're saying to them tomorrow is whatever the date is, whether it's the 1st of June or whenever it is, that's not in our control. But we should be working towards bringing small groups of children back into school in a phased way because we all know that ultimately we have to get our schools going again. Now, we have heard, Jeff, over the last few days, one or two uh, school trade union voices uh, who have almost said sort of no way that we're going to do this. I mean, is this being, in your opinion, is this issue of schools phased opening, is it being used for political purposes by some in the trade union movement? Well, I'm the leader of a trade union, and pr yes. no, trade, uni trade unions have a proud tradition, and what trade unions are there for is to protect their members. Now, I can see from the media that this is being portrayed as a, a kind of political act. Well, I think all I would say is that whether it's being said in the tone that I'm saying or whether it's being said in a slightly more strident tone, on behalf not just of teachers but also of parents, it's absolutely reasonable to say, give us the evidence that this is safe. Because you, you hinted at this a minute ago, if parents don't think it's safe, we can do all the preparation we want to and they won't be prepared to send their children in. And I think the lesson to the government here is if the discussions had been how can we work with you to reassure your members that it will be safe to open schools what should be the plan that would have got us to where i think we'll get to rather more quickly and without it looking like this was a dispute between the government and the teaching profession